Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a few buttons for your project, be it a mobile game, an application, or maybe you're just designing a website. It doesn't matter really. You can obviously always go to some store. For example, if you're making a game, you can go to the Unity Asset Store. But first of all, the real nice ones will cost you money, that's obvious. But then again, you have the same buttons that everybody has. And here on this channel we do things a little bit different. We create our own stuff. Let's just jump straight in into the Affinity Designer. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is enabling the grid. Make sure the snapping is enabled. Now we can start by making a nice rectangle. Something like this. Let's make it a gray one. Convert it to curves. And uh, go into the curves mode. And now let's add some points here, here. And now we're done with the points. So we can start deleting the corners of our rectangle. So we got this um, shape. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, we duplicated it. Now let's change the color of our copied shape. We can make it basically anything just to see the difference. And now this is an important part. We add few more points to our corner edges here. You can basically make your button any color. I just uh, played around with gradient and settled on this combination here. The next part is uh, adding an inside rectangle. That will be where our text go. This is our button prototype. Now we can improve it. First of all, select the inside rectangle and add an outer glow to it. Just by applying the built-in effect in the Affinity Designer. We can also reduce its opacity so it doesn't stick out so much. 60% will do. For our biggest shape, we can also add an outline, which can be again done through the built-in FX tools. And for the edges, we can add inner glow. So this way our edges look like they have some light going through them. And now let's just make the bottom gradient a bit darker. Also notice uh, that uh, I've reduced the opacity of this, this layer. I reduced its opacity to 50%. I've decided to change the color to yellow. Anyway, when you're zoomed in like this, this button maybe doesn't look like much. But if you just zoom out and assume it's on the actual user interface, that looks okay, doesn't it? But we can make it even more beautiful. For that, we can switch to our pixel persona, select the inner shape and add a pixel layer and put it below it, like this. Then let's select the pixel brush and add some texture to it. You see, I've got the brush textures already selected here. We can probably add some cracks to our bottom, like this. You see, basically you can do a lot by just experimenting with the textures right here. You can draw your own texture, make some color blending and you can also move it around to find the best look. Here are some examples of the buttons that I previously made for this tutorial. This is the same button that I made uh, in three states. 
this button right here is in its normal state. This is when you highlight the button by hovering the mouse over it. And this is the pressed state. Let me just quickly jump into the Unity game engine and show you how it can be used in an actual game that you may be building. And here we are in the Unity editor. And this is just for the demonstration, I'm not uh, teaching you how to use Unity, obviously. So I created this button right here. The transition I selected is Sprite Swap. I already cut my sprites up. I have the button in normal state and the highlighted one and button down. The highlighted button is uh, this one. I just added a few outer glow effects here and there. So you can see it's, it's slightly different than the normal button. So back to Unity. And now we can just press play and here's our button. So you see I hover up the sprite changes to the one with the highlights. And if I press it, it looks like it's the press one. The pixels that you see on the edges are basically due to change scale. In one X, it looks perfect. I hope you get the idea. This is just for the demonstration. Obviously, you can tinker with your buttons like a lot more. I'm just showing you the process that you can take to get some quick results. So, that's it. I hope you like it and uh, see you in the next one.